back to my channel. I am the Electra Filatina, and today I'm going to be reviewing this super cute and incredibly utilitarian electric scooter. Meet the Gyrur C1S. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. So what sets this scooter apart from the rest? Number one, it's very incredibly low price at $38.99. Number two, it's that you can sit and ride comfortably. This is not a scooter that you ride standing up like a, a lot of them out there. Number three, the baskets, guys. So this is a very spacious area on the deck and this is a removable middle basket with a lot of space. And then we have a rear, a smaller rear basket over here. The other thing that really makes it stand out is that this electric scooter is fully UL certified 2272, meeting very stringent standards for safety. This scooter looks very well built and solid. It, it's a very strong metal frame and it comes fully equipped for commuting and running errands. It has integrated lights front and back fenders also they are plastic and guys check this out this is a huge cushion seat like i want to measure the inches but this is like a four four to five no like a like a four inch foam and then underneath you have the springs since it doesn't come with a rear suspension or front suspension this is going to provide you with a comfort you need this is the most comfortable seat i've ever tried and it's huge so well done, Gyrer. Part of what makes this scooter so strong, the frame, is because it's a one piece, okay? So as you can see, it comes like this, all the way here, okay? Super strong. Now guys, check out this foot pegs that you get. They are retractable, both sides, obviously. So this is where you place your feet, and then that allows to leave this whole storage section free. Very good. And then guys, so this scooter was very easy to assemble. It took like 10 minutes. So the box was perfect. There was no damage, really good. And then there was just like a few things to install. So for example, over here, there are like three pieces. So the Gyro gives you this like stickers of three arrows. This is so all the pieces align and so that your steering is not crooked. That's basically, basically what it is, okay? And then, Oh, they, and then let me show you. So they have a very secure mechanism for folding the, the stem. It's a little hard, but that's good um, because you don't want it like moving when you're, when you're riding. So, okay, so then you can like store it, take it in your car, and it's going to occupy a lot less space. Okay, and then it's like really easy. You lift it back into place like that when you're ready to ride, and then you, do that and it has a very satisfying click and it's ready to go and then uh, the other thing was like obviously attaching the baskets there are four bolts for the well two for the for the foot pegs and then the baskets there are four screws down there that you attach to and then on the on the rear basket you have two screws on each side you tighten them up the fenders already come installed on the tires and then of course you you put your seat post in and it, this one is it has a pretty good length for like shorter and taller riders and there's like a good amount of space underneath to lower it see you can lower it by a lot this is for really short riders so Geirer says that this is going to fit riders from 4'1 all the way up to 6'1 I am 5'11 at a 32 inch inseam and so if I race, I'm not even racing it all the way, guys. And then you tighten the clamp down here, and this is how it fits me. So see, it's, it's super, super comfortable. And then the handlebars are not adjustable. Um, so this is as high, it's, it's just a one piece, but it's very good. Like I, I really think it fits like those estimated riders. Now, let me show you the cockpit, okay? So we have ergonomic hand grips. Those are just simple plastic. Um, then of course your unbranded left brake lever. Then we have a bell. 
that is actually a very nice belt. Not every <laughs> not every electric vehicle comes with a good belt. This is mine. This this is my cell phone holder. And then to the right, we have this LCD display, which I am going to peel with you. Oh, yeah. And then, okay, so we're gonna turn it on. So this, oh, actually, so the red button underneath, this is what you press here. Perfect. And then this is the M stands for like mode buttons. So, okay, so you have, I don't know if you can see here, you have, you have speed modes here. It's very small right here. It says mode three. So then if I click one time, mode one, mode two, mode three, of course, the higher, the more speed you're gonna get. Okay, so miles per hour right here. Underneath, this is your trip distance and od odometer. And then right here is your battery levels. We have one, two, three, four, five. So there are your bars right there. And then we have a, of course, your uh, brake lever on the right. And then we have a half twist throttle, which is really nice. All right, guys, now we're gonna go on a ride. We're gonna be testing it. It's going to be super fun. We're gonna take it to the grocery store. I'm gonna tell you everything there is to know about the scooter plus all of its utilitarian features. So, vamonos! Guys, this is the off-road test, okay? So these are 12 inch tires, which for a scooter are massive. Of course, if you're comparing it to an e-bike, they're small. No suspension. Let's see how this feels. Woo! Let's see if it has enough power. There's a little bit of undulation in the terrain. It's not perfectly flat. <laughs> you know, and it's good to test it in all kinds of terrains because say you want to go have a picnic in a park or you have to cross a park on your commute or dirt trails on your commute to work. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, obviously we're in a kids play area and it's like sandy and Okay, I'm not gonna jump this tall sidewalk. But now let's go. I'm gonna rip it all the way straight. Oh my God. Guys, this little scooter has plenty of power. Wow. It's bumpy, but I pro the, yeah, the seat, it helps so much. And the springs underneath. Wow. <laughs> let's see, back to the concrete. Whoa. Awesome, <laughs> passes the off-road test. Guys, this is the hill test. It's a slight incline, and then at the end, it gets, a, it gets pretty steep. So, having a little bit of a leeway. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> you made it! Woo! So you have to go on slight inclines, and I even have a load. This backpack is heavy with like the filming gear, so yeah, it, uh, <laughs> I mean, for what it is, it did great. Guys, this is the speed mode test. So we're gonna check out the three speeds. I am a number one. Let's see how the acceleration feels. And go. I have all the twist throttle all the way back. Nine, 10, uh, 13. Pretty good, very smooth acceleration. Okay, now let's go to speed mode two and you can change on the fly. You don't have to stop to change modes. I definitely feel a kick of power right there. 16 miles, oh, I said 16 for a second. More like 15, 15 on this one. And the fast modes, speed mode three, yeah, woo. Is that, I hope, I think I did it, but super smooth guys, 18.5. Little bit of, a, of an incline right here. It's going to flatten out again, 18. 18, but yeah, we hit 18.5 back there on the flat. So Gyro was right on the money. They said 18.6 for the top speed. All right, guys, this is the brake test. I'm gonna try to get to full speed, which is 18, 16, 17, 18, and brake. <laughs> okay, these are mechanical disc brakes. It does take longer to stop than hydraulic disc brakes. But let me show you the rotors, okay? so. The brand are, I've never heard of this one. They're Core Ride. And then they are 140 millimeter rotors and they have a nice little um, depth to them, uh, thickness to them. So now, um, you know, this is, this is, it's pretty good because for a little guy, it's, this is very light. The 100, I mean, some e bags have 160 millimeter rotors and they're way heavier, like double the weight. So good job. 
Guys, this is a maneuverability test, so we can see how that handles. Let's go. I'm on speed mode three. And um, the bars, the handlebars are pretty narrow. I mean, it matches this scooter. So, okay, let me do some zigzags, see how it feels. All right, so between the very short handlebars and the 12 inch tires, they're like uh, two inches in thickness. We'll have to measure them. It feels incredibly nimble. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, John, and I'm going to do a U-turn. U-turn. <laughs> okay, guys, <laughs> do not ride with one hand, okay? This is a two-handed scooter. Again, because it's a, it is squirrely with one hand, so keep them both here. I'm going to do a U-turn. One, two, three, and turn. Wow. <laughs> okay, you can do some crazy tight turns with this one. Now I'm going to accelerate gonna keep doing little little maneuvering tests but this is so nice because you can be riding in compact streets downtown and uh, yeah you can get in between cars I don't recommend that right stay safe but uh, <laughs> yeah this is an awesome scooter for the streets for the suburbs for anywhere we're on our way to the grocery store guys I'm really excited Yee! So now I'm here at the grocery store. There's a, we're gonna put a lot of groceries in there. And then if you are discapacitated and maybe you can walk, you have an injury, you know, you can use like the grocery cart, the electrical grocery carts, but this is gonna be so much better. So let me show you, you know, you, we all have seen, right? The, the, <laughs> the grocery carts here. John is gonna be riding that one and he's gonna be following me around while we shop. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in there. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe how much stuff I was able to fit between the two baskets. <laughs> I even have my helmet hanging here, but I have milk. I have a uh, beverage yogurt stuff. I have Epsom salt baths, bags of that, which is they're pretty heavy. So uh, <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Now that I see the possibilities, I'm going to be doing this a lot more. I have it in speed mode one. Obviously, you don't need more in here. Um, oh, this is super pretty packed. We might have to go to the self-checkout line. Come here. And this is 
the doggy test. So Osito was a volunteer down here. He's like 21 pounds. And that space was like it was made for him. And then I just put a cushion down there so he can be comfortable. You know, the position where he's at, really down low to the ground and right in the center, it does not affect my balance or the maneuverability of the scooter whatsoever. So between the two of us, uh, it's a weight of a little over 170 pounds. And there is no, pro no problem on speed mode three. I'm still getting all the power I was getting even without load. Even when I was carrying all the heavy groceries that are even heavier than him, it was just like punching. So yeah, it passes the doggy test. We've been riding a lot and only two bars out of five are gone. So let me tell you about the electrical components of this little guy. The motor is a 550 watt motor and it actually feels plenty powerful and peppy for this lightweight 53 pound scooter. The battery is a 36 volt, 7.8 ampere hours and gyro estimates a range of about 25 miles. The charge time from empty to full is five hours. So this is made for short commutes. So what are my final thoughts? I love this scooter, period. From the super comfortable seat to the upright riding position, the maneuverability, it has all the power that you need for such a little scooter, for short errands, for students and college campuses, Take it on your RV, fold it, throw it in your car, take anywhere. Last mile solution commutes. It's all equipped for commuting with lights, fenders. Obviously love this crazy amount of cargo between the two baskets. Like I've never seen a personal electric vehicle that comes ready to go in order to be able to take my dog everywhere. With e-bikes, you usually need to buy separate pet carriers that are usually expensive and they might be harder to attach, and sometimes they don't feel the safest. Now, things that I would like to see here is a rear suspension. As soft as the, as the seat is, a rear suspension is still needed for light off-roading. A keeper guys thank you so much for coming along to another one of my adventures on the full review of the gyro c1s if you would like to purchase the scooter i'll leave a link down in the description below for a 15 percent discount and this also really helps to support the electro latina channel i will be seeing you tomorrow back for another video always remember whatever you're doing happy riding